Hey guys, let's talk about revision. This is important, you know why? Because everyone, every client I talk to, it is always the old story. I understand, obviously, we want to change something. That's why we are a part of this community. We are consciously trying to recreate or uncreate something. So revision, a discussion on revision is important. So let's get started. What is revision? It is extremely misconstrued and misinterpret in, misinterpreted in the conscious creation community. In simple terms, revision is you changing the past. Revision is basically manifestation because in manifestation you are changing the story and in revision you are also changing the story. So everything is revision. If you are consciously creating, you are revising everything that you don't like and you are creating a new story to dwell in, to work on, to affirm on. Right? Now, remember something. What is the past? The past is actually dead. The past does not exist. The past is only alive because... Now this is gold again, so take notes. The past is only alive because you have kept it alive here in your mind. It is alive because you chose to keep it alive. You chose to dwell on it. You chose to feel miserable. You chose to constantly feel like the victim. You chose to be the victim. You chose to loop it and loop it and loop it. You chose to loop a story that you do not like and keep it alive in your memory because the past does not exist. Linear time in conscious creation is a myth. It does not matter. What matters is what you create here so that it finally gets created in your reality. As always, as you guys already know it, if you are following conscious creation. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, how does revision work? What do you do when you choose to revise a situation? I will give you a couple of examples, but then every situation is different. So, but I'll tell you what to do. That's what I'm here for. Suppose you have faced a situation in your past or since your childhood where people always told you that you were ugly, you are not smart enough, you are stupid, you're not intelligent, you're a fool, you're unattractive, you are uh, anything and everything that you don't want to be. And that kind of got embedded inside you and you feel unworthy of the things that you desire. Then what do you do? How do you revise it? Obviously, you have to change the story. You have to tell yourself a story that you like, which is obviously the opposite, which is, I have always been beautiful. I have always been lucky. I have always been attractive. I am intelligent. I am smart. I am absolutely worthy of everything. I always get what I want. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Take notes, guys. Take notes. I always get what I want. Always. Why? Because I deserve it. Why? Because I'm beautiful. Why? Because I am attractive. Why? Because I'm the god. Why? Because I'm the goddess. Why? Because I deserve to be treated like a queen. Why? Because I am the queen. Why? Because I'm the king out here. Because I deserve it all. You have to tell yourself a new story. And then, trust me, as I always say, and you guys, I'm sure you guys already know what I'll say, the next sentence. The 3D will conform because you have already revised the story which you did not like. It could be any story. I spoke about this thing because uh, I have a client who's struggling with an issue of self-worth because people have always told her that she is not really 
good enough for things and trust me guys they are just reflecting something back to you which you really choose to believe in when you choose to believe in something else they will have to kind of conform according to what you choose to believe in they will have to second example specific person or not really a spe and by specific person i don't just mean a, a lover okay i mean anyone you wish to recreate in your life or you would want an apology from or anything okay suppose there was an incident an ugly fight something really embarrassing happened very harsh words exchanged something that you really want to revise so that things kind of get into a space which is more comfortable for you you revise it trust me you have done this all your life when you were not aware of conscious creation hasn't it ever ever happened in your life when you had a fight with a friend or with a sibling or with anybody and you felt really bad about it and you kind of came back home and you were like i just wish we would patch up i just wish things would be normal again i just wish and you dwelled on it and you dwelled on it and then suddenly the person calls you and asks you out for a drink or maybe wants to meet you up and you know sort things out you know why that happened because you were dwelling on the solution you were not dwelling on the fight you were not dwelling on the embarrassing situation you were not dwelling on the heartache you were not dwelling on the hurt you were dwelling on the solution which is you guys would patch up whatever you dwell on is getting created you have done it all your life you have revised things all your life now that you're a part of the conscious creation community consciously you think revision is something new no you have revised things always if you wished for something and you dwelled on it for a while it actually manifested it has already happened so even if it's a breakup even uh, okay the situation that i kind of had it to deal uh, address was uh she was uh, she felt dumped and rejected by her specific person because of a third party now recreate the story okay if the if the 3d is really triggering you in this situation like whatever happened the memory recreate it okay this happened but then i know i mean now he is remorseful he he's he will apologize i know it i know it because i am the prize here you are constantly giving away your power to somebody else and then you are blaming conscious creation for not working you cannot do that this is spiritual law you are not above spiritual law or below spiritual law spiritual law is the ultimate law whatever you are choosing to dwell in will manifest in your reality so if you think that you are you are dumped by your specific person for a third party you have to change the story watch my third party videos and because this is already getting too long i i knew this would get long anyway so you have to change the story in a way which makes you feel good and then affirm it and keep saying it and then speak it into existence like yeah i mean i know this happened okay this happened i know but then you know what now he's realized now she has realized now things are changing whatever makes you feel good dwell on it dwell on it dwell on it loop it loop it loop it as it is you are looping the worst case scenarios as it is you are looping the horrible part of the story which you don't like so why not loop something which makes you feel good why not why don't do something which makes you feel good because you are constantly reliving the old story i have been there i've done that many times i know i understand we all have, we have all been there but you know guys the point is unless you decide unless you decide it is not going to change so if you want to change the story if you want to completely revise the past you have to completely tell yourself a new story that is it use your ego use your pain use your hurt whatever is hurting you because you are the prize here it's all about you you have to convince yourself the 3d will confirm the moment you convince yourself that, that your specific person is completely crazy about you and is trying to come back to you and is trying to is uh, is apologizing to you and wants you to take him back take her back whatever and you loop it and you loop it and you loop it because you like the story you like the story you like the story because it kind of helps you feel better it helps you feel empowered it is bound to manifest it will manifest you have to persist i think most of you are 
constantly complaining because you don't want to do the work because this involve, involves work, working on yourself, nothing else. The 3D will confirm, it is bound to confirm. Even if you tell me that it won't confirm, it doesn't confirm, you have, you have tried. You know why? You know why some people are really struggling so much with their manifestations because they constantly believe, they have constantly looped it inside them that nothing works for them. Their affirmations don't work. Nothing works. And as per spiritual law, spiritual law is just a law, right? Spiritual law is the same for everyone. And as per spiritual law, it will not work for you because you're constantly affirming that nothing is working for you. So spiritual law has to be loyal to you as well. So whatever you're affirming is becoming the truth. Whatever you see as the truth is becoming the truth. So if the past is something which you do not like, it means that you've already taken it as the truth. So that is not the truth. You have just kept it alive as the truth. Change the truth. You can change it. Final question. Just change the story and keep telling yourself a new story. The 3D will confirm. And I'm not saying this just because I heard it somewhere or I read it somewhere. I revise things. I have revised situations. I have revised past miserable incidents in my life. I have revised people who were really authoritative and dictatorial. And I revised them in my mind like, no, you are thoughtful. No, you are soft. No, you have mellowed down. No, you're thoughtful about everyone around you. No, you're not autocratic. You are completely loving. You are adoring. You are... Yeah, yeah, thoughtful is the word. You understand, you understand people. You, are, you come from a very soft space. And I have revised people. I have done it. I do it all the time. You can do it. because I, I, I do it all the time because I believe it's possible. I believe that it works. So it works for me. It works for me all the time. You have to believe that it's working for you. I can't make you believe. Test it, test it, test it. Go, you know something? I wanted to talk about something else also. Yes. In order to build up this faith, you have to take note of every little thing that you're manifesting. That's why I spoke about scripting. I have to make another video about scripting now because it keeps you mindful of whatever you're choosing to create in your reality, or whatever is getting created in your reality after you're affirming consciously. So when you're mindful, you will know that yes, it works. And when you know it works, it will build up that faith muscle, which is constantly telling you that this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work stop affirming that guys it works it works it works not everybody is a fool so do not say that just because you feel that something has hurt you in the past you cannot change it you can change it you can change it tell yourself start telling yourself a new story get back in power okay now the most important question about revision. Suppose there was, there was a fight and there were harsh exchange of words. I mean, exchange of harsh words. And does that mean if I revise it in my head, the person will forget that incident? <sighs> yes. Trust me. If you com constantly say something nice to yourself, which makes you feel good, the person has to confirm. It's not just him f him or her forgetting the incident. It's like, it, it probably won't even matter. How do you know that things will not move? You know, things are not moving the moment you're affirming because things are always moving. So, yes, they might forget. Situations may happen, circumstances, the bridge there could be a bridge where whatever happened would not even matter to them anymore because they would be so badly in need to mend things with you. How do you know? Why are you trying to micromanage things? Just do, just do what is, I mean, what you've been asked to do. Just affirm the new story that you like. Don't micromanage things. You are not a problem solver here. Manifestation is not problem solving. You're a manifester. You're not a problem solver. Don't get into the nitty gritties of the how. That's not your concern. Just focus on the new story. The story that makes you feel good. That makes you feel empowered. That makes you feel absolutely in charge of your life. And watch it reflect. Watch it reflect. Give it time. Persist. Push through. 
you have to push through we all have to push through there is no other choice so just get back up and do the work yes things will confirm they may, they might forget the story they might face a situation in life where they kind of need i mean i do not mean it negatively i mean they might just come up with a moment of epiphany where they understand that that was absolutely trivial it did not even matter so now all they want is you all they want is to mend things with you things will happen this is spiritual law how it will happen is not your concern you just focus on the new story right answered clear cool i think that's about it okay wow it's 16 minutes no worries i think this was important and um, that's it if you do not like where you are then move then for the love of god move just move you have to decide to move from the story that you do not like and revise it and revise it and revise it and loop it and loop it and loop it to the new story that you wish to create in your reality that is the only way do you don't have to do anything else just loop in the new story and watch the 3d conform be patient have some faith have an ounce of faith that if so many people are here telling you to persist there is definitely a reason and stop 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 saying that your affirmations are not working and everybody else is is i don't understand how that is possible yes it's not working because you're affirming that it's not working cool I started off like this benign angel angel and then now look at me like I'm again ranting This is fun but So yes the how is not your concern revise the old story revision is real revise it revise people revise situations revise anything in a way which makes you feel good because you are the one that is important in your reality and the 3D will conform the 3D will conform the 3D will conform I'm choked. Okay? And that's it. I'm a mindset and manifestation coach. I am here to help you get whatever you desire. Okay? I'm here to change your concept of self and get you get you into the state where you get what you want. Simple. This is such a long video. I don't know what to do about this. but i think this was important this was relevant and this will be relevant and this is as always gold okay i love you guys and for personal assistance obviously please do mail me and you can send me your video suggestions in my facebook group in the comment section below or you can mail me as well and that's about it i think i should sign off so yeah what is no no that's that's it that's enough i think uh, i just love talking to you guys you know so i don't know i kind of keep ranting and ranting and ranting i i digress but then i just intend that this helps you that's all so i love you guys happy manifesting and do not do not do not give up bye Thank you.